everyone welcome to this update video i just and hope you're doing really amazing this morning it is sunday the start to a brand new week and with that we're going to be looking at what's going on in the tropics now we've got the national hurricane center marking the southwest caribbean as an area to watch so the confidence is growing as it pertains to seeing development take place over the course of the next several days so the area was marked last night with a 20 percent formation chance and then in the updates earlier today so that's the latest update as of when i'm recording it has been uh increased to 30 percent and we'll see if in the 8 a.m update or the 2 p.m update it will uh, it will go up to 40 percent but regardless the confidence is increasing as it pertains to sea and development so we're going to be looking at some model data but also it's pretty wet across parts of the caribbean so as we look at the satellite imagery though for the north atlantic basin we can see that there is some activity around so in parts of the southwest caribbean the west caribbean on a whole there's been an increase in moisture so there's been a lot of rain in areas such as central america and there's also a couple of tropical waves moving across the area so here's a look at this graphic here showing the axes of the tropical waves so one has crossed over into the eastern pacific one is moving by in the central caribbean near jamaica another is entering the eastern caribbean and one is well off the african coast so with that one uh, on the satellite imagery we saw where there's quite a bit of activity around so that's associated with the most recent tropical wave to come off of africa so let's go ahead and zoom into the caribbean a bit closer here we can see what's going on there's that pretty decent blob within the vicinity of central america and overall this area has been quite wet and it will remain active because again that area of low pressure is going to be forming later this week and it is likely that we could see some development take place and there is some uncertainty as it pertains to the exact track of the system there are a couple of possibilities which we'll be talking about momentarily but before we move on to that this is a look at the rainfall forecast for today and here we can see what's expected now the more colorful the map is indicates more rain so we can see towards belize parts of guatemala the keys the bay islands of honduras northern honduras sections of eastern nicaragua costa rica going to panama even for the islands of san andreas and providencia it's pretty colorful so there's likely to be some more substantial rain today the general area is going to be active so with all the rain expected it is pretty likely that there is going to be that probability of flooding as well so if you should encounter any flood waters please take all the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks next places as we look towards the cayman islands jamaica and even a couple spots in hispaniola as well there could be some heavy downpours and for many of us here in jamaica it's been pretty wet since yesterday and i mean i woke up to some lovely rainfall going on as i'm even recording right now outside so in saint james some of us are receiving some downpours it's a perfect way to start the day in my opinion so i'm a rain lover you can let me know in the comments if you are but yeah it's been very cool and lovely and uh, for parts of cuba there could be some downpours today as well going up to the vicinity of the turks and caicos and bahamas a few showers may loiter around next we move to puerto rico and the virgin islands and much rain is not expected for the virgin islands there could be some showers moving through but the rainfall chance would be a bit greater for parts of puerto rico as we head to the lesser antilles for much of the northern islands such as anguilla st martin st Barthelme, uh st kitts and nevis Seba, st eustatius even headed to antigua barbuda and montserrat there may not be a whole lot of rain around but a few showers may pass by guadalupe southward through grenada including trinidad tobago and barbados may be a little bit more active we see some more of those green shadings popping up so there could be some uh, shower activity within that area as it pertains to the abc islands though much not expected today northern south america parts of colombia will be quite active and then uh, there could be some showers around for parts of venezuela and guyana going on to suriname french guiana whole lot of rain not expected we don't really see a whole, uh, much color to indicate that there could be some decent rainfall activity today now we move to the disturbance well the area that's smart because technically that airflow pressure has not yet formed but the area is highlighted because we could see development take place here over the course of the next several days now as i said last night it was marked with a 20 percent chance this morning that has increased to 30 percent and i'm expecting it to continue to gradually increase over the next couple of updates now as we take a look at what the models are showing let's for, uh, let's first start out with the euro so here we have the euro model and uh, this is for the ensemble members so 
difference members from euro showing different uh, variant conditions in terms of the outcome we may see and we have a pretty decent amount of them showing an airflow pressure forming now this goes over the course of the next 10 days we can see these tracks going off in different directions we see them heading off to the northeast to the north to the northwest so nothing is solid just yet in terms of that as for gfs though we kind of have more agreement on a track to the north northeast so between jamaica and hispaniola we can see the bulk of the different members uh taking that airflow pressure that forms along that general trajectory we see a couple of them going off in the northwest as well and up to the north so as i said there are quite a few possibilities that are on the table right now so nothing is solid so i cannot say this area is going to be hit and it's going to be this strong that is unknown pretty much at this point because i mean that area of low pressure has not yet formed but it is expected to form as we head into the next couple of days but there is that increase in confidence about something developing so it is that time of year when we uh, really want to watch the caribbean for development since it's usually the spot to watch i mean conditions are usually uh favorable enough in the latter part of the hurricane season to actually allow for development to take place so so we can see that the ensemble members for two of our main models are definitely agreeing as it pertains to seeing uh, this airflow pressure form and the development eventually takes place. Now, who should be keeping an eye on the system? Well, for Central America, quite a bit of rainfall activity. So there's going to be that flood threat. But next, uh, areas such as Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola, Cuba, maybe even the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos want to keep watch for whatever could try to get itself together over the course of the next week or so so all those areas i just mentioned you want to keep an eye it doesn't mean you will get hit however there is a potential because again we see these tracks going off in all different directions which will include uh, some of these areas and so guys of course i'll be keeping you posted on what is going on and that's essentially it for this update video today so i do hope that you found it to be informative however if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i'll get to you when I can and remember to always be weather wise.